In this scenario, you have purchased a couple different mobile devices, and of course, you're concerned with their out-of-the-box level of security. You've been tasked with implementing some basic security measures on your devices. There's a couple security measures you might implement on a mobile device. They include configuring screen locks, and within screen locks, you might utilize a password, a PIN, or a gesture. But also, to secure your mobile device, you'll want to install and configure antivirus software. You might want to disable wireless or GPS, either temporarily or permanently. You may want to use encryption and possibly install and configure backup and remote wipe programs. I want to show how to work with the uh, screen lock and also the GPS options on Android. So let's do that now. And I have my Android system running here right now. This is an Android smartphone. Uh, it's running Android OS version 4.11. Operating systems like these are constantly being updated, but the steps we take here will most likely be similar on newer versions of Android. So the first thing is to show screen lock, and I want to use the pin option. So what we're going to do here is we're going to swipe down from the top to bring up the notification screen, and we're going to go to settings, and we're going to go down to security. And if you have to scroll down in your system, you might need to do that. We're going to tap on security. And at the top here, we see screen lock. Right now, it's set to none. Oh my goodness, how could you do that? How could you have no screen lock, Dave? It's true, this device has no screen lock, but we're going to fix that right now. So we're going to tap on the screen lock area, and we see we have uh, various options here. You can choose no screen lock. You can choose facial recognition or drawing a pattern using a gesture. But honestly, both of these are not as secure as using a PIN or a password. So I'm going to use the PIN option. We're going to tap on that now. And then it tells us to select a pin. So I'm going to uh, select one now, and I'm going to tell the world about it. It's going to be 5533-8800. Please don't use 1234 or any four digits uh, in a row or any four of the same digit because uh, there's lots of programs out there that could crack those pins very quickly. You want to try to use uh, really six digits or more if possible. So we're going to tap continue, and then we're going to have to confirm that pin, 5533-8800, and tap OK. And that now has screen lock security turned on. We'll tap OK for that. And it says here, screen lock is now set to a pin. This device is much more secure than it used to be, uh, except for the fact that everyone knows my code, which I just might change that after the end of this video. There's lots of other options here that you should take a look at if uh, you have an Android device. For example, set up the SIM card lock and also make passwords visible. We don't want that. That's on some devices, that's checkmarked by default. So you may want to check that. And lots of good security options here for you to check. But that was the screen lock. Now let's move on to GPS. We want to disable it. So I'm going to go back one screen to the main settings screen and we want to go to location. So we'll tap on that. And what we want to do is remove or disable the first two options, Google's location service. So we'll tap that guy and also GPS satellites. At this point, for all intents and purposes, this device cannot be tracked. And that's the key here. You may say, well, I lose functionality when I turn off GPS, but there are many people in organizations and companies that have confidential information on their device, and they would rather turn off GPS so they're not tracked, so no one knows where they are uh, when they're moving about the country or what have you. So there's a loss in functionality, but there's a gain in security. That's going to depend on, you know, really what the scenario is and what the policy for the company is as well. So one other thing here, um, we mentioned antivirus software. This particular device comes with application scanning, and it's a program called Lookout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the home screen, and we're going to go to the uh, applications area. And here we have Lookout Security. I'm going to tap on that now. 
And by default, it just scans applications. To see this, we'll click here on the menu on the upper right hand side, I should say tap here, excuse me, and we'll go down to auto scan. Now you can see here it says the system is set up by default for automatic app scanning. So whenever you start the device, or if you download an app, it'll get scanned by the Lookout program, make sure it's uh, good to go without any malware. And then also the device will check your apps every week if you have it check marked. So that's a good deal. Um, it's a good program to have, at least your applications get checked. If you wanna have full malware protection, then you wanna go with the advanced security. That'll stop lots of different types of malware, including the viruses, worms, trojans, and so on. Um, and then you would just, to do that, you would just activate the Lookout program. And I believe at the time of recording of this video, at the time of this video, it's $3 a month or somewhere about that. Now that's a good deal for one device. It may not be the best solution for lots of devices and you might go with another third party offering in a larger company. Uh, we mentioned the Gin Master Trojan, which can steal confidential information from an Android device and send it out to a remote website. If we use this Lookout app and activate the uh, advanced security, uh, that type of Trojan will be blocked. At least it's supposed to be. So <laughs> I haven't tested it, but it should be. And other Trojans like it, so people can't take control of your device and control of your data. Okay, moving on, I have a uh, iPad here with iOS 7 running, so we'll show how to enable the screen lock with the pin option and disable GPS just like we did on the Android device. And what we want to do is we want, we're at the home screen here, and we want to go to settings, so we'll tap on that. Then we want to go to the general option, tap on general now, and here we want to swipe up a little bit till we get to the passcode lock. That's the option we want. So we'll go to passcode lock, tap that now. And we want to turn the passcode on and they use four digit numbers for this. So we'll tap on turn passcode on now and we'll enter a uh, passcode. And let's do uh, five, three, eight, zero, and then re-enter that passcode. And that sets the code for us. If we want to disable it later, we would just select turn passcode off and it would ask us for the code before we could go ahead and do that. But uh, pretty easy stuff. So we wanna make sure you have some type of passcode or something for your device. All right, the other thing we wanna show here is how to disable GPS and any location options. And we're gonna do that from the privacy section. So if we tap on privacy down here, you'll see we have the location services at the top and we're gonna tap on that. And right now location services is on. So we would want to just swipe that little button to turn it off. And now the device cannot be found uh, by crowdsourced Wi-Fi hotspots or anything GPS related. And now this iOS device is slightly more secure than it was before. Uh, again, you might need to use GPS. Uh, that all depends on uh, your company policy or your personal preferences, uh, depending on where the device is being used. So many people are bringing their Apple and Android devices into work as part of a BYOD solution that uh, you might have to go with the company policy. You might have to actually turn off GPS. Uh, so be that as it may, I wanna show one more thing and show a little example of encryption software so we're gonna bring up a browser here, and uh, I'm just at the Google search engine. But what I wanna do is I wanna to go to uh, Google Play. So we'll go to uh, play.google.com here. And that brings us to the Google Play store. And what I wanna look up is uh, something called SSE, Universal Encryption App. So, and it's actually here in the history. So SSE, Universal Encryption, I'll click on that. And this is the guy I want, SSE Universal, Universal Encryption App. This is a decent encryption program that you can download and install. Uh, I like to look at the descriptions of these and also look at the uh, reviews before I ever install any apps. 
and try it on a test device first, especially if you're a security admin in a company, definitely do it on some test devices first before you implement it, of course. But uh, it's got all kinds of stuff as far as uh, encryption of passwords, of text files, any files on your device. You can secure just about anything private and confidential that you need to. And it uses AES 256-bit. Good deal. This is just one example of many encryption apps that you can download. Some are free, some cost a little bit of money, and uh, there's lots of options out there. So you should do some research and find an encryption program that works good for you if your company requires encryption on mobile devices. Okay, that's about it. Let's wrap it up. These are just a few examples of how to secure a mobile device. Pretty basic lab. Other methods such as lockout programs, remote wipe programs, and strong wireless security can be very helpful as well. And of course, the onus is really on the user. In-depth user training can help to fend off some of the worst malware that's out there. So that's about it for this lab, and thanks for watching.